So today we are going to be working on our breathing and we're going to be working on taking the breath down into the base of the lungs. Now, very often when we are stressed, if we're rushing around, we can start to breathe a little bit more from up here, particularly if we're stressed because we get that sort of fight or flight response and our breathing rate can increase, but it tends to get a little bit shallower. So we don't really get the air down to the base of our lungs. So it's really nice to do a little bit of exercise to try and work on that and work on our awareness. And it also can help with relaxation as well. Now I have got um, just a, a very light exercise band. So it's one of the, the light ones. Um, if you don't have one of these, don't worry. You can do the exercises without the band by just placing one hand on your lower rib one side, crossing the hand over and placing the other hand on the other side. So you're just getting that feedback um, to, about where your ribs are and where you're breathing from, okay? If you have got a band though, it's really nice because you can just feel the resistance of the band and it gives you a bit of feedback. So we place the band behind. This is like a really tiny band. Your bands will probably be bigger than this. And you want to go, so it's as flat as you can get it, it's really hard. And you want it to go round sort of the base of the lungs or base of the ribs. So they're coming round here. And then, as I say, your band hopefully will be a bit longer than this, but you want to just gently cross it over so that you're not pulling on it. You don't want to have this really tight, but it, you can just feel a little bit of pressure. So you just feel that there's something there and you're aware of where the band is. Then I want you all to drop the shoulders. So even if you've got your hands um, on your ribs instead of the band, we're going to drop the shoulders, widen the collarbones, lengthen through the back of the neck. Okay, now we're not going to stretch the band, we're just going to hold it in place and we're going to take a breath in through the nose and as we do, I want you to imagine that you're either breathing into your hands or you're breathing into the band. So we're going to take a breath in in your own time. And then breathe out. And just feel how the band or you feel how your hands relax. So we're going to do that again. Breath in through the nose. And out. Lovely. We're going to do one more. And out. Lovely. I want you to just breathe normally for me now. If you do too many of these deep breaths, you get a little bit lightheaded. So, what I want you to think about now is we're going to think about breathing into the side of the band or your hands or more into the back of the lungs. Okay, so collarbones nice and wide, neck nice and long. We're going to take a breath in and I want you to imagine you're breathing into the side of the band or into your hands. So breath in. Hold for a few seconds and out. Lovely. This time I want you to think about breathing more into the back. So if your hands are here, more sort of into your fingers at the back. So breath in. Hold for a few seconds, breath out. Lovely. I'm going to do that once more. I just want you to think about breathing into the base of the lungs. And out. And then back to your normal breathing. Fantastic. Okay, that's all we're going to do for now. Now, the reason that we're doing that, again, is to slow the breathing down. It makes us also stop and just take a couple of minutes to do some deeper breaths. Just maybe a one or two, two or three maximum and then just relax. It also gets us to get the air down into the base of the lungs. So it's getting our diaphragm to work effectively. It's getting us to use our rib cage. And it's just a nice thing to, to do and just take a couple of minutes out, particularly at this time of year when it's all a little bit crazy. So once you've done that and practiced with the band or with your hands and you've got the hang of it, you could just work this into sort of every day, maybe a couple of times a day, just stopping, doing a couple of deeper breaths, trying to get the air down into the base of the lungs and then carrying on, carrying on with your day and what you're doing. So any questions, pop them below. Um, but that is a great exercise just to get your awareness of your breathing a little bit more. So I will see you tomorrow for another class.